Boom shakalaka, why a million dollar Bitcoin is really bad news and why it's inevitable. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we have a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including why a million dollar Bitcoin is just crazy and why it's likely going to happen anyways. Maybe not as soon as everyone thinks. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now, today, Bitcoin fear and greed at 68, up from yesterday, 66. We are still in green greed territory. And last week and last month, also in greedy territories. However, there was a bit of fear in there as well. The overall market down about 2% today. Bitcoin at 27,550, Ethereum at 17,31, BNB at 3,29, XRP 38 cents, Cardano 33 cents, Polygon dollar 10, Dogecoin 7 cents, and Solana 21.96. And Bitcoin, after yesterday breaking out from this uptrend we were in, falling back down to levels within the upper band of this uptrend, we still do have on the larger scale a inverse head and shoulders, potentially shooting Bitcoin price to $42,000. Did I say a million dollars? No, $42,000. But the big news recently is this Bitcoin to a million dollar story. This guy, the CTO of Coinbase, wagered $2 million that Bitcoin would hit a million dollars in the next 90 days. Now, could this happen? Well, according to a jailbroken chat GPT-4, there's an 83.2% chance Bitcoin could hit a million dollars coin by 2025 in the next couple of years. But... My suspect, when I heard this, it reminded me of what John McAfee used to do a few years ago. Basically, big publicity stunts, betting people that Bitcoin would be a million dollars a coin, or he would eat his own dick. Same type of thing. You have to wonder what type of publicity stunt. Not only that, but I mean, what does this guy actually know about financial markets? And if Bitcoin were to hit a million dollars a coin in 90 days, based on just complete depreciation of, or hyperinflation of US dollars, there would be a lot of other really bad stuff going on in the world for that to happen. So is this likely? No. Could it happen? Yeah, sure. Anything in the world can happen. But more likely, cheap publicity stunt, and people believe it because this guy has Coinbase behind his name, has CTO behind his name. Most people don't even know what CTO is. Chief Technical Officer does not mean that he knows anything about prices, markets, anything like that. He might understand cryptography, he might understand technology, but knowing what would happen with Bitcoin price, he would know about as much as I would know, which is, you know, jack squat. Not only that, but a lot of people are saying, hey, US hyperinflation, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a look at the data, shall we? If we take a look, turns out the $300 billion expansion of the Fed's balance sheet this year, actually, year on year, still contracting compared with what they were printing back after 2020, still contracting even after the $300 billion injection. So it's really not that big of a deal in the grand scale of things. That being said though, Bitcoin's having a phenomenal year so far, up 80.65% since that Pi cycle bottom flagged way back there that we were talking about way back there. Now, did we believe it there? Oh, it was very difficult to believe back there. Now that Bitcoin's up 80%, yeah, it's easy to look back and say, hey, called it. But hey, nobody knew it those times. Now, Bitcoin has had quite the year. Could this be a top already? Certainly could, but I don't think so. I think it's got a lot higher to go because of all the certainty, uncertainty with traditional finances, different things like that. Right now, we have the reversal curved. The reversal confirmed on the RVGI switched from red to blue, confirming a reversal. That's a pretty good start, called every bottom previously. Also, if we take a look at the Gaussian channel, you know, each time Bitcoin broke this middle band of the Gaussian channel, the bull market ensued. Well, guess what Bitcoin's just doing right now? It's at the middle line. Should we break this area? Could be bull market ensuing. Could be very, very big for Bitcoin. This is the weekly candles. Not only that, but if we take a look at the weekly super trend, the floor has now rise to $20,000, which would make the bottom there not bad, you know? That previous all-time high from 2017 may actually be the bottom. Bitcoin may never go below $20,000. Again, that's pretty cool. Now, while that's good news for a lot of people who have bought Bitcoin, some people are like, but what about $13,000? I was supposed to go down to 13, 10,000, whatever the heck. Well, it may not, but here's the good news. 
the Bitcoin investor tool suggests, according to previous cycles, that anything up to $35,500 represents a good accumulation territory for Bitcoin. That's right. You can still buy Bitcoin in the green here under 35.5. That's great. And guess what? The upper band right now, the sell band, $177,700. Now, that's the sell band. That's the greedy sell band. If you want to be not greedy, you might want to sell a little bit below that. Like, let's say starting at about $100,000, start selling. No financial advice, by the way. Bitcoin's long-term holder SOPR is finally breaking back into positive territory, which we can see right here, the potential long-term holder SOPR momentum flip. The cohort who survived the 2021 bear market finally spending coins in a profit. You have survived the bear market. We very rarely get this flip. You can see this one, two, three, four times in Bitcoin's history. Looks like it's happening for the fifth time. Once again, back into profit after a long, hard, cold winter. And you know what? We are entering all up territory for Bitcoin. We're 72% of the way towards the halving. Historically, this is all up territory for Bitcoin. This is where you buy every dip you can because every time you pretty much make money on it. How much money? Well, we'll get into that. But Bitcoin, another indicator that we are right at the cusp of a bull run. Every time Bitcoin has broken it through the weekly EMA ribbon, this has been massive bull run territory for Bitcoin. We just broke it. Why would this time be any differently? And if we take a look where we could be headed just by the halving, by about a year and a week from now, we are at the last phase before the halving, five bars on a three month chart before the halving. Now, if we take a look, the angle that it went up here in 2020, the angle it went up here in 2012, that puts Bitcoin somewhere between $50,000 and $850,000, near a million dollars by the halving in a year's time. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.